Good morning, Vital Men. It's good to be with you on your Monday. We've been doing the teaching series on hope in the midst of the storm, and this is actually our last week for that. But it's been a really good series. And we've been looking at the life of Gideon and how God has used this, this man that was hidden, this man that was uh, didn't even consider himself as a warrior, but God used him in a mighty way, and he takes on 300 men, and they knock out a Midianite army that looks like the grains of sand. And it's just amazing how God uses him. There's no weapons. He just blows horns. They have torches, all the stuff that's going on. But he's continuing in the battle. And that's one of the things I want to encourage you. Because sometimes we simply have to continue in the battle and finish it. And I want to show you something this morning out of Judges chapter 8. Gideon is his men. They're chasing him down and they're getting tired. And it says this. It said that Gideon then crossed the Jordan River with his 300 men. And though they were exhausted, they continued to chase the enemy. When they reached Sukkoth, Gideon asked the leaders of the town, please give my warriors some food. And they, were, they are very tired, and I am chasing the, the three kings of the Midians. But the officials of Sukkoth replied, catch the kings yourself first, and then we'll feed your army. So Gideon goes. They don't get the food. They go and do what the Lord had caught, uh, asked them to do, and they have victory over Ziba and Zilloman. And they will ret- and, and Gideon says he's going to come back and deal with a town that wouldn't help them out at the time. And what I learned from this story is, is it's really, really important for us that sometimes in the midst of the battle, we get wearied and, and we get tired. And it's a, important for us as men to give time to other men when we see that they're tired in the midst of the battle. Sometimes it means go out and having breakfast with them, having a cup of coffee, having lunch, or simply sitting down and having a listening ear for a time. No greater time than us, we need to be with other men and helping other men in the battle. Men are getting weary, men are getting tired. And sometimes the Holy Spirit will work through you in such a way that you can give a word of encouragement to another man. And help him to continue on to the battle. Because just like it says here, we will be victorious in the end as long as we stay with the Lord. He is our warrior. He is the one that will help us to have that victory. So I encourage you today, other men are tired around us. Be that man who goes and helps them out with a listening ear. Don't give up on one another. It's essential as such a time as this, man. It's very, very important. And with that being said, I'm thankful for you as men. I'm thankful for you that are staying the course and staying in the battle, in the fight. There is hope in the midst of the storm. And we'll see you next week.